Hello, this is Charlie from Spooky Pinball, and right now I'm shooting a video uh, explaining how to change a door servo. This will work for basically all the servos in the game. They're all the same principle. Servos are different from a DC motor in a traditional pinball machine, as in the computer or the CPU unit tells this thing where to go, and it doesn't necessarily need a switch at the beginning or the end to tell you where to stop. Inside the coin door, there's your servo right there. We're going to back out. Inside the coin door, there are two buttons. Green and red. Green means go. go green means go into the menu. Red means stop back out of the menu. So what we're going to do is go into the menu and we're going to go to servo. Hit the green button again and you will see door open. Now I use the flippers to toggle through all these different little settings here. This is for all the servos in the game. And we're going to go to door close. That's using the flippers left and right, get you back and forth. Hit the green button and boom, you can't really see it, but it just sent that little servo to the closed position. Now, showing you underneath. Say your servo died, it's got that funny smoky smell. This is your auxiliary board. This is the servo that is in the game right now. Plugs into position two for the door. Servos are laid at zero through three. Technically it's four, zero, one, two, three. All this information is available on our website. This is in the AMH switch matrix at the bottom of the chart. It'll tell you which servo controls which feature or toy, ghost, door, elevator, etc. So anyway, it's four screws. You take this servo out. It's actually positioned this way in the game. Take this servo out, plug it into the auxiliary board. This is located underneath the play field. And that gets you basically to what you see on camera right now. We just sent that puppy to closed. Here's your door. Here's a screwdriver. It is a single screw. So we're going to put the door on. Sorry for blocking this with my hand. I'll get it out of the way as soon as humanly possible. In the closed position. Tighten it down until she's good and snug. Don't overstrip it. It's good and tight. It's not dragging on the play field. Now we're going to go back out to the menu here. You see it says door close. We're going to use the flippers to cycle over to door open. Before I press the green button again, we'll go back. Hit the green button, boom, door is open. Now what you want to check with any servo is that it's not pushing to get somewhere. If this is pushing against that plastic, it's going to shake like this, and you'll feel it. You put your finger on top of it, you will feel it. Same here, if we send it to close, if it's pushing against the metal, like right in the corner there, you will feel it. This thing will shake and it'll vibrate, and that will murder your new servo, so you don't want to do that. This one is pretty good, but say it's not very good. Let's back out. We're going to hit the red button to exit. We're going to go to something called servo default. Hit the green button to go in. Door open. Six. We'll go to door close just so I can show you how to adjust this. Using the flipper again, we'll hit the green button. Go back to the door. Zoom in on the door. And here's what happens. See how I'm moving the flippers and it's moving just a tiny bit? See if it's pushing up against that steel there, you can just go back, back, back. Good. Hit the green button, hit the red button, saves it to the EEPROM. So you can fine tune adjust that servo with that. That also works on basically every servo in the game the elevator, uh, the target bank up and down, any of those, if they're shaking. You wanted to get it to stop shaking, just use your servo default. You go in, you change it, and uh, it's good to go. And that is it. That is all you need to know. You might want to go into your menu, check it one more time. Servo. We'll go door open, bing.
Double check it again, change your defaults there, you can push it forward a little bit if you need to. Good to go. Door closed. Not shaking, put your finger on it. Good to go. Boom. You're done. That's it. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, my email is charlie at spookypinball.com. And uh, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting Spooky Pinball.